Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Let us start with one real time project. Today I will be explaining you guys simple real time project which we exactly use in our companies. So what exactly is this project about? We have to install Prometheus using Ansible. What is exactly Prometheus? Prometheus is a monitoring tool used by most of the organizations because it is open source tool. What exactly open source means? It is freely available in the market. You can just download it and use it as per your requirement. Now, what kind of steps is involved in doing this complete setup? The first step is we will be downloading Prometheus binary or Prometheus software from official website of Prometheus. Second step will be we will be copying that binary or that software to the target system where we want to do Prometheus setup. We will unarchive or unpack that binary on the target system. And the third and final step will be we will be creating Prometheus as a service on target system. So there are two ways to run Prometheus. You can directly run the binary in the foreground or in the background or one way is to run as a service. Why exactly I prefer using as a service? Because even your machine is rebooted, again automatically the service will come up. So everything will be running in the background. So you don't have to worry about anything. Now let us start. So what kind of modules are involved in this project? I will be explaining those all modules and then we will be going and implementing it practically in our system. So, one of the most important module which is involved in doing this small project is Ansible template module. So, what is Ansible template module? Ansible template module helps to template a file out to a remote server. What exactly it does? You simply put at runtime Ansible template module updates the Jinja2 interpolation syntax variable with actual values and copy the template file to the remote server with the specified name. So I will simplify this line what exactly it does. So you have a lot of variables available in your systems. So as a template whenever the template will be copied to the target system those variables or those values can be replaced with the actual value on the system. So template will copy the template to the target system and if somewhere you are using some variables those variables will exactly be replaced with the actual value available in the target system. So what kind of task exactly template module can do? Ansible template module does two things mainly. First it replaces the Jinja2 interpolation syntax variable present in the template file with actual values. So as I told Whatever the variables are available, those variables will be replaced with the actual value once the template will be copied to the target system. And second work, it does the same work as copy module. So it will copy the file to the remote server. Now, Ansible template module is designed to perform only those two things and it does the same perfectly. And before going to Ansible template, it is necessary that we should understand the Ansible interpretation syntax and how exactly it works. So I will explain you all these concepts with one high level example. Now let us directly jump to the Ansible template examples. So I will copy my code to um, Ansible template module. So just rename it as something like template dot yml so now let us open this code and see line by line what exactly it is doing initial three lines are common name what exactly name you want to give it it is as per your choice which all machines you want to run what kind of tasks you want to do now one copy module i am using so what is copy module here we have downloaded some software prometheus from Prometheus website and I have kept this software in this source computer in location slash home slash vagrant. In the destination machine, in the destination means target server in slash USR slash local slash bin. In this folder, I am copying this Prometheus software in the target computer. Now, this is 
as per the extension you can see this is dot tr dot gz dot tar dot gz to unpack this is in some gzip format like some zipped file so when you have to unzip this file we are using one module that is an archive module what does this an archive module does it will pick your source file so source file is this one this is the target computer path in the destination in the same place in the target computer system i am just unpacking it and i have specified one more parameter of an archive that is called remote source if this software is present in this local system and then i am copying to the target system and doing untar then i don't have to use remote source but since this software is available already in the remote computer i am telling it it's available in the remote system so remote source is yes in these two uh, modules your software is copied to the target system and software is unpacked in the target system now actual concept comes about the template module so here as you can see the template module is something similar like copy where you are giving the source and you are giving the destination now in the source i am giving some dot j2 extension you can see prometheus dot service dot j2 so this is some file which i have created in this computer i will show you that file content as well in the destination system i am telling go to slash etc system the slash system folder and create a service there called prometheus dot service file this is the file name of destination server now once this source template is copied to the destination file then what you have to do just go and start the prometheus service so i am telling prometheus dot service just start it start the service now let us see what exactly this file is containing so let us see what exactly we are doing this is one of the common format which we use while creating a service in linux systems so i am telling what is exactly the unit section contains it is about prometheus what is the service section contains which user the service will be running which group it will be belonging to and the actual command which is most important command here is execute start means what command exactly it has to execute to run your prometheus service so i am using and this path we have unpack our binaries so in that there is a file called prometheus so i am telling execute start this file and the prometheus dot yml file located at the same location just use that file as a config file once these two parameters are available in the target system these two files are available it will execute it when you will start your prometheus service and it will use this particular config file and what exactly this file dot j2 is containing this j2 file jinja2 template we say is containing the service description and the actual service which it has to start so this is a raw file what exactly we are doing using the template module we are just copying this prometheus dot service dot j2 to prometheus dot service file so once this file is copied to the target system we can see that our prometheus service is running and everything is working as expected so first let us see in this system we have prometheus available or not so you can see prometheus is active and running but what i want to do i want to remove this and do the fresh setup here so system ctl stop prometheus stop system ctl stop prometheus and then i'll do whatever the files are available and not just remove everything and we'll see that fresh it is working as our expected so here one prometheus dot service file is there i am removing it also so now you can see you don't have anything available in this system if now let us check that prometheus service is available in this system or not so system ctl status prometheus so nothing is found so this service is not available now let us do one thing let us run our playbook and see it's working as expected or not so what is the syntax ansible hyphen playbook 
your playbook name and then your path of your inventory file inventory.txt and sorry i missed here hyphen i for your inventory and let us run the playbook and see what exactly it is doing so you can see here copying the software is in progress once copies so copy is completed successfully now it move to the next section of unarchiving the module and in the archive module it has unpacked the software now the template module is copied and prometheus services is started now let us validate again in the target system so you can see eight second ago prometheus um, service was created here and it was started so prometheus is running fine now now what exactly this file contains you can see so the same template which i used on the source system has been copied to this target file and then prometheus service was started as we were expecting so this is a simple example which exactly shows how prometheus template concept works okay so what one question we, we all have in our mind is what is jinja 2 so jinja 2 templates are simple template file that store variable that can be changed from time to time when playbook are executed these variables get replaced by actual values defined in ansible playbooks this way templating offers an efficient and flexible solution to create or alter configuration file with ease so whenever we have to use template and if we are using the jinja2 templating we have to use dot j2 uh, with the extension of file and the actual value will be replaced when it will be copied to the target system so this is exactly jinja2 we'll discuss about jinja2 maybe in later um, classes as well but as of now just understand that it's a template which exactly stores the variable and it will be changed as per the time to time requirements that's it about today's video thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time and seeing the videos if you guys have any questions related to this please ask in the comment section thank you so much have a great day ahead thank you